sorry I'm late. I'm so sorry. Um, I was up early enough today, but um, I had a shit ton to do, to do this morning, so I had to, and it had to be done. So I'm sorry for the late start, but here we are. And I'm hoping, I kind of looked into where I'm at in Fallout as far as the mission names. And um, it looks like I'm either going to be going to the Institute this stream or tomorrow. So whatever happens today, I'm, we're pretty much there. It looks like I'm done just about. So, let me go to my little corner. Good morning, Klitschka. How are you doing? Or, late morning. <laughs> and I did do some stuff last night. So, the feral ghouls are dead. I fucked the feral ghouls up and... Yeah, just fuck the feral ghouls. And who the hell is this? Well, mine is in the workshop. Or mine is in the shop. That's good, Klitschka. At least it's safe, right? It is safe, right? Yeah, considering I had a bad time with fucking legendary gangrenous feral ghouls. You shouldn't have any problems out here. Yeah, this place is, is definitely better than the last hole in the wall. Oh, that's the other thing. I took care of the fucking slog yesterday, too. Incoming. You know, package. I've, I've plotted out her escape route. Got a new guy. New tourist that's gonna help. He, he, he's all ready to sign up, but he's got big problems. We clear those problems up. And our package has got a nice cozy shack to lay low in. Okay. If it'll help us send, count me in. I knew I could count on you. I wish I could tell you what you're going up against, uh, but I got no idea. I'll mark it on your map. Go there and do what you HQ types do. Then K8's all set. I'll make sure she gets out of the Commonwealth. Eliminate the threat at Federal Ration Stockpile. Okay. <clears throat> Fuck you, Feral Girls. Fucking hate those things. I hate those things. I hate the gangrenous ones the worst, though. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> they were really pissing me off yesterday. The Pharaoh Ghouls pissed me off a lot more than I was letting on. By the way, <clears throat> I played, uh, I made a few videos of um, Unravel for last night's YouTube end, and I gotta say, that game is fucking amazeballs. I love it. It's cute. It's awesome. It's gorgeous as hell. If you have a PS4, a One, or Steam, I think it's on Steam. I haven't checked everything yet, but I do know it's on uh, Four and One. You you need you, you, yeah, <laughs> you need to check it out. This is an amazingly cute game. Okay, but right now I need to be in Fallout Four mindset. <clears throat>
Damn right, McCready, playtime is over. Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? You were right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm still alive. No, I didn't want to get out of my power armor. What the hell? Okay. That was weird. I didn't hold down the button. Beautiful. Wolfie is a mass killer. When I did that, it just made me think of that one scene in House where he's like, uh, saying something about curing a dead person, and I forget her name, 13, I think, was like, we're gonna cure a dead person? And then he's like, hoo hoo ha 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 ha! <laughs> That's the greatest fucking House moment ever. <laughs> Okay, where is this? Okay, I see the thing on the little... Radar map, whatever the hell you want to call it. Okay, here we go. Okay, come on. Bye-bye, Raider. McCready. That's how we do things. That's how we do it. Ooh, Nuka Cola Quantum. Red Tourette's Terminal. Town bastards. <laughs> I don't feel like reading all that, but that was fucking awesome. Bean Town bastards. Damn those Bean Town bastards. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? What the hell is that board doing? What the hell is this board doing? Okay, that was really interesting. Yeah, Bethesda physics, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, what exactly am I supposed to... Okay, report back to caretaker. <clears throat> well, that was quick and painless. Already taken care of. I hardly even broke a sweat. Normal. Whatever you did worked. Back of my neck to be Tourists standing straight up on. like this. K8's already on the move. Take this. I might have more jobs later. Thanks, Bub. Don't call me Bub. Personally, I cannot stand when people call me Bud or Bub. It's just, it's a, it's a pet peeve of mine. You're lucky I don't smack you, caretaker. <laughs> okay, what is... Report back to Pam. <clears throat> Wolverine, let's go, bub. <laughs> I'd smack Wolverine too. <laughs> of course, I'd probably get sliced to hell, but it would be worth it. <laughs> Randolph Safe House has got another dead drop for you. Leave me alone, drummer boy. Okay, did I? No, Pam's this way. To God, the Institute doesn't find us here. At least not. Can you get out of my way? Got a lot of sins in play right now. Rude. You need something? Setting human machine interface <clears throat> to 100%. Good evening, Agent. My data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha. Yeah, has Wolverine is one bad mofo. In its vicinity. <clears throat> Knowing my luck, he'd probably shatter my spine with one punch. <laughs> Tell me about the mission. The cash is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. Got it. Agent's assessment is correct. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. Well, see you later, Pam. Jackpot ruined skyscraper. Okay, so there's where the reflector platform is going to be. I'll deal with you later, Pam. 
Magneto once ripped out Wolverine's skeleton. Ouch. That had to suck for Wolverine. <laughs> I don't know how much more I got of this. Yeah, we should get the heck out of here. Now would be good. I know I'm supposed to build the platform here, but... I don't know. What was that? Oh, nothing. You're a little bit spastic and jumpy there, aren't you? I'm not sure if I have to wait for people to get to the crop manor or if I can just do it myself. I don't know what's needed to build the platform. Hopefully Desdemona or somebody can tell me soon. I honestly would have preferred to do it with the Brotherhood of Steel, but I guess it's too late to... Oh. by a gunner. coming back until after 2016 damn but Wolverine's such a badass and I really need to pay attention to Marvel and all that shit a lot more okay what do I 
check my map here, see where I need to... Oh, I'm almost there, I'm right on top of it. What the hell is going on? I'm going the right way. Maybe I am. Yep, definitely the right direction. Who wants to screw with me? You want to screw with me. You're not gonna screw with me because you're fucking level eight little pipsqueaks. Well, you're not a level eight pipsqueak, are you? Close and personal, huh? Well, there you go. There's your up close and personal. Jesus. Okay, that's enough. I did what I needed to do. The runner should be able to get to the cache now. Reward dispensed. Future tasks may be assigned. The business and good neighbors concluded, right? The extent of our operation there is quite sensitive. Desdemona. H222 made it out of the Commonwealth. It's a tradition to down a glass for your first successful run. Well done. Well, thank you for the whiskey, Desdemona. <laughs>
kind of snakes roll. Alrighty then, McCready. Have time for you assholes. I got shit to do. I don't have time for you idiots. Okay. Big John Salvage. All right. Well, I can't. God damn it. Guys are starting to annoy me.
I'm really hoping I can at least build this reflector platform within the next two hours. I'm dying to check out the Institute. I want to see what the Institute looks like. Okay, there's some action going on here. What'll it be? Super mutant? Yes, super mutants. Of course. Yeah, I've heard that uh, so many times before. Why are you running? Oh shit. Oh shit. Level sixty eight. I almost died. I didn't mean to use two. Damn it. Fuck you, Super Mutant. Still whittling your health down. Super mutants. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh god damn it. Why did I do that?
Okay, that's a brotherhood knight. I have machine gun ammo back at the sanctuary. Okay, 680. I just need to focus all the minigun, or as much of the minigun ammo on that one son of a bitch as possible. Preferably all of it though. Should have expected one of those assholes. Yeah, I need to find out where that. I think that was where I was at originally. No. Where's your little mini gunner, asshole, guys? Okay, this looks more like it. this machine gun asshole, minigun, whatever the hell is. Oh jeez. Too 
many assholes. Do I have any? Oh. oh no. I didn't even have time to react. Give me a second, clutch car. Okay. Do, do, do. Right there. Crazy mutt. There you go. Yeah, I know. It's not much. I wanted it to be higher, but... I can't get it higher at the moment. Well, you'll get there, Klitschka. Just takes time and patience and a lot of resources. Damage 90. Oh, that may be my saving grace. I only have 44 bullets with it though. Jesus, oh, I'm gonna die. Motherfucker. Scream. Scream. Scream for your worthless life. God damn it. Fuck you, warlord. Fuck you, warlord. Man, I am not ready for this. I'm not. I'm not prepared. fucking bullets. Fucking asshole. Fuck you. What the fucking goddammit. 
Ah. Oh, what was that? For extra measure to make sure I'm dead? <laughs> I'm gonna try this one more time. Too close. Yeah, I see you. Can I? Come on out. I dare you, dumbass. Not even doing shit. These guys suck. Fuck it. Finish me off. That's what I need, is more of those goddamn mini-nukes. Fuck this place right now. Fuck you, Drummer Boy. Can I kill Drummer Boy? That would really make me happy right now. Okay, that's behind the manor. Maybe there's somebody there waiting for me. It doesn't look very reflective platform friendly back here.
Oh, there we go. Okay, this stabilized reflector platform. Where the hell am I supposed to build this at? the hell okay well, I guess that's it hook me up tinker Tom Why do you always come running to me, drummer boy? That's getting really annoying. Can I punch you in the face? Can I kill you? Well, no. I don't wanna. That would make me look bad with the railroad. I don't wanna talk about Blackbird. Carrington is sure to give me an ear for the When running synths out of the well, Wastelanders can be a big Human machine interface set to 100%. Hello, agent. I could use your help in acquiring another DIA cache. Maybe later. The timetable for this task is not critical. Location of cache being transmitted to your pip boy. Conversation terminated. Are you just gonna force it on me anyway? It's all right. Up top, you gotta be careful. Never know when you're being Desdemona, caretaker used to work HQ. After switchboard... Well, I'm hoping running your safe house will be good for both. Oh, Tinker Tom, right. Diamond Duh. Is under opposition control. Uh, you got the platform built yet? Tick tock, tick tock. I'm waiting for the good news. Easy. I did it. The platform's constructed. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. We can actually build this crazy thing. The science of this monstrosity is wow. But fortunate for us, the ingredients pretty common. But there's three specialty items that I just can't grab from our safe houses. You find those, and we'll knock down the gates of hell. Thanks, Tom. I'll find them. I don't doubt it for one minute. After you get the gettables, meet me at the bill site. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scab. Okay, so we're gonna go get a biometric scanner from a hospital, and then it's, I have a feeling it's showtime.
Okay, telecom sites too. Fuck you, bloat fly. Why did I just hear a super mutant raider? Or not a raider, a suicider? Don't screw me up here, McCready. Thank you for not screwing me up. Hospital. We're here. Don't tell me you actually believe that buried treasure nonsense. What are you talking about, McCready? Okay, I guess this is the only hospital that has a biometric scanner then. Shut the ran, McCready. Don't 
Mr. Pong, welcome. How are you doing today? Great. Super mutant territory. Just lovely. Okay, where's... Okay, there we go. Are you friendly? Excuse me, should you be out of your room? No, you're not friendly. Yeah. Fuck you, nurse hand. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Hope you get to your doctor's appointment, though. Who made me poke through all this garbage? What the fuck? How do I get to the biometric scanner? I must know. I need to get there. I just want the scanner. Does that mean it's... I can't tell if that's inside or outside the building. If you haven't signed up for your quarter annual colonic, why not? Quarter annual colonic? I don't even want to know, Nurse Handy. I didn't really want to go down. Basement. Does that mean it's down here? Or up there? I'm confused now. I don't have time for you. Fuck out of my way, Protectron. Fuck you, Protectron. Required by law. down there. Put down your weapons and the going down. Is a 
So confused right now. I just want to get to building the refractor. What the hell is even going on? Quantum. Gray's anatomy states that a removed spleen can result in a modest increase in white blood cells, uh, as well as a peripheral decay death. Okay, it says it's upstairs, and then I go upstairs, it's downstairs. Where the hell is this goddamn. Okay. God damn it, Nurse Handy. Do I get the Guess I use the elevator. I'm getting way too confused here. Okay, there we go. That's the draggy. Pat, pat, pat. Okay. Build the beam emitter. Relay dash council. This is it. You weren't there at the switchboard. One day, the incident will kill us all. Straight up like that. 
That is... I'm assuming that needs to be connected together. not really much room to work with here at all. I don't have enough room. There we go. Okay, now I need a power generator. Okay, make Five power to okay. I need nuclear materials. I need more nuclear materials. Hopefully I have some at the sanctuary. This is it. I'm going to the fucking institute. If I have enough materials, that is. Materials 14. We got this, I think. Switchboard. One day, the institute's gonna kill us all. We need a metric ton of power to get this to work. Now, would be good. Okay. 
Okay, now connect them all together and then get to work. Requires 20. Well, it's connected. <clears throat> Everything's got to be on the same power grid. Otherwise, the machine won't work. Well... Okay. Chance to get inside the institute. Incredible. Oh, something just happened. A ton of power to get this to work. Tom's gonna be in heaven on this trip. to arrange everything differently.
maybe I need three big ones. Aluminum. Okay. I'm so close. I know it. Hopefully I have aluminum at fucking sanctuary. Or I'm going to start growling. Yes, oh, I've got plenty of aluminum. What is this? Search military sites for a circuit board. Maybe that's what I need. And I know it says optional, but I just want to make sure I have everything covered here. Listening post Bravo. Okay, I just saw something there. There we go. Military grade circuit board. I'm not going to need that stuff anymore. Vault alarm. Standing down. I don't know how much more I got of this. Yeah. At least you get the heck out of here. Now would be good.
we go. Okay, there we go. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of these saves. Testimony. Status report. We got activity this. Not sure how long it will be. The institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, we need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time we learn about Patriot. Patriot? There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the institute who helps since escape to freedom. Dozens of sins owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works, and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. Okay. I'll do my best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Uh. I'm getting a bit nervous here. I don't know what I'm. I, I know there's gonna be synths out the fucking ass, but. So stand still. You gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully, we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion. Uh, hopefully, we won't right. miss any. Um, Tom, you're making got. me really nervous there. You needed to contact Patriot. Oh, man, uh, don't worry. That, that's all part of the plan. Tom. Do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can. About synths. About the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the all up! We got it. Find a way to save I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Uh, I don't know, Father. Oh. Uh... Yeah, this is gonna be a setup. This is a fucking setup, I know it is. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. Whoa! 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 This place is fucking huge. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. 
Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that could be... Yeah, uh-huh, sure. You are here for a specific... Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? We're leaving this place. Together. Okay? Okay, Sean? What's going on? Father? Father! Sean! Open the door! I don't know you! Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please! Calm down. I'll get you out of there! Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Six. No. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. What did you do with Sean, you son of a bitch? We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am fond. Yes, we know. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now. I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I want answers, asshole. Now! Under the circumstances, I will forgive your... Oh, forgive my vulgarity. I need you to realize <laughs> that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. <gasps> After all this time. It's me. What the fuck? I am, Sean. I am. Your son. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you following? No, I'm not following. I'm... What What the fuck? Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth, think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. Whoa. You were whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? 
That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. <laughs> it was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, Holy the Institute fucking had shit. made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland. Radiation My mind is completely fucking blown Even right now. to shield themselves from the world above. Members of the institute Jesus. Have been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Well, of course you and I, you're my fucking kid, I guess? Sixty years. Sixty years, though. I, I remember Codsworth saying something about two hundred and ten years. I know you must have questions. So how the hell is this asshole still alive unless they cryogenically froze him? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director. My mind is running circles right I now. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from Holy us. shit. Whatever you've seen. Just heard, holy fucking I know shit. I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. 
It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of a conversation with what happened to him was an father right now, and Ten Pines Bluff is under attack. I can't do anything. I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But... What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done. Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it, too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? I'll tag along for a little while. All right. Thank you. The institute You're not is now welcome. Your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads Dr. Fillmore in facilities, Dr. AO in SRB, and Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Holy shit. My mind is completely fucking blown right now. Just fuck. Phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. 
most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. Of course. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn where everything is. Doctor? They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterwards. This you is guess, really... The Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smooth. We maintain an upgrade... This is a lot to take in. Holy to shit. And work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like Topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the Robotics Division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Humanity's future is taking root right here. Hi, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren. Head of the Bioscience Committee. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I'm sure it's fascinating, but that's not why I'm here. Of course, I completely understand. Before you go, at least let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. I promise I'll keep it short. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. 
but it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. What are these gorillas he was talking about? You're gonna have to work pretty hard to impress anyone down Dr. here. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. You're here. Glad you made it. This is. I was not expecting. What I'd like to know, though, while I'm trying to figure this area out, is why old man Sean made a synth of kid Sean. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. That just feels like a really dick move. Sean is a dick. Excuse me, doctor? Ah, Father, Sean, whatever the hell. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Well, excuse moi Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the institute at will. Well, okay. I can deal with that. Thank you. I'm sure that will come in handy. Given that the relay is Insert the Insert devilish the grin. Institute, Handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing yeah, else, I understand the implications of this. Thank you very much. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. And as thrown off as I am, I really do enjoy those kind of plot twists. We'll start you know the protocol, sir. The dosage authorized personnel only. So Dr. A at full capacity. As if I already didn't love this game enough already. This that was an awesome as fuck plot twist. It's been a real inspiration for me. The targeting package upgrades I asked for. We're all looking forward to working with you. Yes, yes, I'm sure you are. There's enough friction Excuse as it is me, between doctor. us and so, pretty much all the other departments. Here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm going to be keeping sure an eye on you guys as well, so... Issues the feeling's you. mutual. No problems here. Good to hear. Now, father has asked... Don't that screw with me. I won't screw with you. Attention. Yet. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. So basically, you're the secret police. Secret police? If that's a pre-war reference, then I'm afraid it's lost on me. Our main instrument is the Courser. A third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered them already. Yep. In fact, 
I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Corsair should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Be careful wearing that. You might be mistaken for a Brotherhood of Steel soldier. Well, I am with the Brotherhood of Steel. You should already know that. Subject identified. to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Also, if you haven't patched your navigation software, do so after this meeting. The last thing we need is more synths bumping into walls. All right, that's all Greetings, for now. Greetings, ma'am. Resume your duties. I apologize for any disruptions that my work might cause you. I wouldn't this place here, is freaking gorgeous in a futuristic sense, though. I gotta. I can't imagine living on this. Holy surface. shit! I, I don't even know what I was trying to say, but it's just. Holy crap! A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. Okay. I needed to do something. Use network scanner holotape. I guess I need to find the computer. You can get me a nice tall glass of shut up juice. And fuck off into the sky while you're at it. What is... Ear examiner. Cauterizer. Stim pack and a blood pack. Excuse me, I'll be taking that. I don't know what the hell all this other shit does, though. Mistaking them for real people. <coughs> Damn. So your father's mother, but he's older than you. That's weird. Okay, make sure nobody's around.
Meet at the advanced systems maintenance room. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in the railroad? Yep. A code name too? I kept sending sins to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You've saved a lot of sins. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea, to rescue a lot of Sins, at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right, let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface, but that can't be right. <laughs> you look positive. Your father is more than just our leader. No he is our creator. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. That doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Where the hell is... This place is fucking huge. Process sustenance packets. Um, that just sounds lovely, but I'll pass. There you are. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand. What do you think? First things first, how do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefine. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. 
He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the I hope this isn't H222. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that city. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. I gotta show some brotherhood love. Was fucking cool. The bread one is a magnificent ship. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute. And liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. Dr. Lee, okay. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriately. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our bitch. cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her hey, to to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. Sorry about the spoilers, by the way. I would have replied sooner, but that was just... That whole Institute thing completely blew my mind. Holy shit. Consider it done, Elder. Very good. Holy, holy shit. Just keep your mind on the mission, and don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. Ad Victorium! <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna stop right here. Communications array calibration test successful. And we'll pick this up tomorrow. I don't foresee anything getting in my way of starting earlier tomorrow, so. Around 8.30 or 9. Expect this to come up. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And as always, keep on howling, you crazy mutts. Ow!